Good afternoon, this is Bruce and uh, welcome back to my shop. We're on the uh, continuation of the backstay build for the horizontal borer. Um, we've uh, made the plate and uh, we've fitted it up and I've, I've machined two pieces of 4140 chrome um, bar and bolted them in and they're ready to take the top section and then we're going to have the block that's going to move up and down with a with a thread arrangement uh, and the and the bearing and the bearing or bush for the um, horizontal boring. So we're we're busy at the moment making up the um, making up the block, uh, and that's brought us into some interesting concepts as well. Uh, here's the block. It's a 90 by 90 millimeter square. Um, now. What we did was we pilot drilled and drilled with my 38 mil drill bit in the in the in the mill uh, with the Morse four, um, and then I come along with a <coughs> with a 42 mil um, 42 mil rotor broach, and I broached down to the full depth of the uh, of the unit, and what I what I want to do. Actually, we'll swing back over this way again. What I want to do is to fit these bushes. These are uh, oilless bushes, and I want to fit two of those on the block, and so that I don't, we won't have to worry about um, uh, ease, ease of movement up and down of the block. So, those two together, um, if we put them in the block, it's nearly the full, the full depth. Um, nearly the full depth of the block, almost. So the rotor brooch is only a 50 mil uh, brooch, and, and when you get to the top end here, um, and when you're getting to the full depth of the cut, this is a 50 mil cut, so um, oh, classed as a 50 mil. So your 50 mil stops at the, at that point. Here, um, you you got much less for the swarf to get out. So the likelihood of a jamming is quite large. The thing is though that the, the biggest problem with rotor brooches is that they jam on the inside because there's nowhere for the swarf to clear. Uh, so what I've done is uh, I actually bored those two uh, with the rotor brooch um, in the ER40 collet. And then I thought, well, how am I going to get more depth here? So then I, I, what I've done is I've taken the actual rotor brooch to Morse taper uh, adapter and that goes down inside so by by continuous pecking and, and care we can go beyond that depth and I've already done that on this other side uh, on this side here I've, I've gone down oh, you see that there that, down 80 mil uh, that and only and there's only 10 mil left on the bottom here, so I've managed to get into that depth, and I'll uh, I'll demonstrate that. And this is a great big saving uh, because I, that way I don't have to put a boring head in on and mess around with it. So we'll we'll give it a bit of a go, and I'll show you how we go about that. We're running at about 180 RPM. Um, we keep we make sure we use plenty of the RTD black smoky smelly cutting fluid um, you know, uh, you know, here we are at beyond the depth basically and if we pack and clear and with the air as well I'll give it a bit it's, it's, it's no big problem to go beyond the recommended depth of the um, of the rotor brooch, uh, annular cutter, rotor brooch, uh, slugger, whatever you like to call it, and you can see here how that is making life very easy for me. Um, and all we have to do is, is feel it and make sure it doesn't bind. And by doing so. I'm able to go far deeper than normal, but of course 
this will only work with with a cutter that's larger than the the actual um, cutter holder. We'll give a bit more black smelly stuff. And the, the beauty of these, and I keep coming back to them all the time, the beauty of these angular cutters is they, they take very, very little power to do an immense job. Of course, I couldn't do this, couldn't cut a slug out like this. Uh, there's just no way you'd go beyond the depth with, with a slug because um, it, can only, it can only go to the maximum depth of of the unit itself, the internal. So there we have it. In no time at all, I've managed to do 25 millimeters, another inch of depth, uh, with very, very little effort and saved me setting up the boring head and, and so forth. So I'll now be able to press those two bushes in um, and that's that part of that job is done. But now the next stage is to drill out here where we're going to have the, the thread holding it. I've still got to work out that detail. And then in the front here will be the bush for the, um, uh, for the, for the bar, for the boring bar to sit in. And then this whole thing will slide up and down um, on the uh, on this unit here. See you later.